Today I'm going to show the uh, initial setup of the XTEC IR200, the non-contact forehead IR thermometer, as well as a calibration to a known heat source. Uh, today I'll be using a thermometer here to get my known heat source and calibrating it to the IR200. So for the initial setup, inside the box, uh, first you have a screwdriver with a screw and this is used to lock the battery in if needed. Next we have the actual unit and, and batteries included as well as a soft carrying pouch, qualification certification sticker, and a manual. Uh, to insert the batteries into the IR200 the battery door is on the bottom and on the bottom of the battery door is a plus minus sign for battery orientation. The plus or positive side of the battery is going to go towards the back of the thermometer. The negative side is going to go towards the front. So plus in the back, negative in the front. And then we push down and push in to close the door. There is a screw down here if you would like to uh, lock in the battery door using the screw. First step of the calibration process is to uh, take an initial temperature with the XTEC IR200. And see what the reading is. So we have a 95.6 reading. Next we want to compare that to our known temperature reading which is going to be 96.6 and we want to find the difference between the two. So our difference right now is going to be one degree Fahrenheit. From there, we will go into the setup of the XTEC IR200 by holding the mode button down for about a second till we see an F1. In F1, we can change from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Uh, next, we will go to our um, alarm temperature. From here, we can adjust at what, uh, what temperature the alarm will sound on the XTEC IR200. The next one is going to be F3, and this is going to be where we want to adjust our offset. So in this case, I had a one degree positive delta, so I'm going to do a positive one. If it was negative, you hit the minus sign, and it will go negative as well. So in this case, I want to keep it at a one. Uh, the next setup, F4 will allow us to enable a beep for our alarm degree, for our alarm in F2, so either on or off. Uh, after that, let it go for a second and it's ready to use. So after we have set our offset, we want to take another reading with the IR200 and compare that reading to our thermometer. In this case, they both match 96.6, 96.6. .6.